Uh, now, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, okay I'm, I'm starting. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, I, I'll just uh, be audible so that it's much better. Okay. 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 So, okay. Let's, let's start with the, um, you know, talk itself only. So thank you so much, uh, you know, VSI, VSIT, Dr. Sarika, to having me over here on the platform of, uh, um, you know, mental health uh, and well-being talk and happiness, of course, which we are looking for. I have spoken about that uh, my book I have launched on 8th of March, Decode Immunity, which talk about your 360 degree well-being. And uh, the vision and mission is all about the evidence-based uh, results and we are talking about all evidence-based system in mental health as well and even physical health. So uh, when we talk about the mental health, can you see the well-being, ability, stress, productivity, and fruitfully are we able to contribute to ourselves and the community? So it's it's a very important question which comes in our mind. Why we need a mental health? The WHO has defined this way: the mental health, mental health is a state of well-being. But I would say that I, you know, I feel that it's fine, like it's a state of well-being. But what is the state of well-being? What is the state of you know able to get the well-being? What is the state of your uh, handling yourself and you know productivity, fruitfully to the community and to yourself? So let's talk about that. And when we think about the mental health, two things come. I think the major people confused about the mental health and what is mental illness. It's a very borderline uh, issue. What is mental health and how we gradually get into the mental illness and we even don't know also about it. So today we will understand and create a self-awareness that this is my mental health and this is my mental illness. I need to cure through this, this, these things. So it's a, it's like you know, self awareness, community awareness, and social awareness. That is all I call as a well being of the community around you. So generally, these are the questions which I always say that uh, you know we are confused in our mind about it. So anxiety disorder, uh, COVID-19, we have seen the offline and then online. And so, you know, a lot of anxiety means what, you know, a lot of question which is unsolved. Your experience, which has always given you little uh, stress, those kind of experience when you feel again or it is coming back to you, you feel anxiety. So, you know, it's a very simple term, but when, when we are not ready to say that, that, you know, I, I'm, I'm having an anxiety or either we are using too often that I'm having an anxiety, but we are not using in a right way. The bipolar or this kind of OCD, sleep wake disorder, eating disorder, we all know about these are the major, but do we know about the, uh, you know, the right way of uh, disorders and the early symptoms of it? We must know the symptoms also that I, I'm, I'm, you know, feeling very sad, though everything is going good about me or around me. Why am I feeling sad? My concentration is getting a problem. My anger management issue is there. I get angry very fast. Paranoia, I'm getting paranoid. Sleeping disorder, I'm not getting sleep, though, you know, I'm working whole day. And when I'm on bed, I'm not getting sleep. So what is that worry? What is it going on in my mind, which is not allowing me? Or inability, I, I'm not able to cope up with this stress. So generally, you know, if we see the depression and anxiety is on a, on a very high area, compulsion on obsession is also there and psychosis. Otherwise, see if you see the stress or adjustment disorder or somat, you know, psychosomatic disorders, those are also there in the community. But the most common which we talk about is this. Uh, how would you describe the person with the mental health? If you understand, talk to themselves, depressed, retard, crazy, mad, irresponsible. These are the words I just want you to introduce in a very fast note. And so, you know, we can talk about the solution of it. Uh, attitude towards the mental health. Now, this is very important. I really would like to talk here. The children who are listening to me, you know, Mental health is all about like, you know, if the children are misbehaving or whatever is right now we have been seen, you know, in the, I've been into education. 
at an institute from 25 years. I know what is this behavior and from where it comes. It is their age. So it's okay. But who are listening to me right now, who are really uh, understanding about it, please see that that people with a mental illness should not be given any responsibility. This is our attitude. We just don't give them any kind of responsibility. We feel that they are mentally not stable right now. Leave them, give them rest. So by by doing this also, you know, we are making them realize that they are not mentally uh, fit to do anything. And that is where they cannot cope up with themselves. One of the main cause mental illness is the lack of self-discipline and willpower. Definitely willpower means in your daily question management. I'll come in, coming up with some of the slides, which is really daily question management, which has been coined by me in a many ways. Uh, in many conferences, I've written papers that I have my in my PhD research also I have managed I am I have mentioned that that your daily question right now when you are here listening to me it is also coming into a daily question management you know you are been told you have been told that this kind of topic is there would you like to join nobody is given you compulsion to join this your willingness is there so wherever your willingness comes and you show a discipline to that and this is how, you know, your willpower, your confidence start raising up. So please try to understand. I will not speak this which has been written there. So I just would like to say because you all are a student. You are, you are well aware about what you guys are doing. Only the thing is that why you guys are doing this. And why we don't have the solutions. Social inclusion of the patient, you know, we have the responsibility of the providing the best possible care to people with the mental illness, the best therapies is there. We have a plan, we have everything, then why it is so helpful? So, because what we feeling towards the mentally ill people, just see again, I'm telling you, hatred, disgust, annoyance, anger, fear, apathy, indifference, and this is all the, the research has been done, you know, on this and worldwide it is happening. Because mental health, when we talk about, we just, you know, we feel this is something very fishy. We don't take it like a fever or a cough or a cold. The way the COVID-19 has been handled physically, if this would have been some mental disorder, we would, I would like to ask you, we would have handled it properly. This is very important. So let's talk about the like mental health and your performance. So physical health versus the immunity. You know how I would like to tell you now, take you to the directions where how your daily routine, your physical health, your mental health, how it is connected with each other. What is happening in your cognitive brain? What is happening in cognition to you? So and uh, are you, uh, I really would like to know, uh, Dr. Sarita, is it English is fine or I should go in Hindi also? I don't mind talking in Hindi. Ma'am, English, English is fine, ma'am. So uh, physical health versus immunity, mental health versus performance. Why I have written mental health versus performance? Because, you know, anything which we do, we only actually, uh, you know, witness that. Whatever we do, we witness that I witness myself. So where I and myself are very clear, believe me, your anxiety will reduce in no time. Your fear, your insecurity, no time it will go. So, you know, why we are having this kind of performance or any kind of, you know, when you talk, when you get up, when you eat, it is all performance towards yourself. So assumptions, attention, avoidance, anxiety. This 4A create a cognitive issue which create, which stimulate a problem in your brain. Assumptions before, you know, somebody come and talk to you and just standing in front of you and telling you that makes hell of a difference and somebody come and tell you, Are you this person was talking about you like this. You know, so our social anxiety is shooting up because of this. So don't get into assumptions. Give attention to yourself and your routine. Don't avoid your, you know, a positive work towards yourself, like coming to college, attending the lectures. These are all actually, you, you should not avoid. I'm not talking like uh, regular teachers or something like that. Believe me, my these teachers, who, the faculty who are listening to me, they are understanding it when I'm talking. Because when, when you assume, when you are not having attention towards yourself, 
when you avoid everything which is actually giving you your life ahead you develop slowly anxiety you don't know how it is happening to you so this is how the cognitive system happens and it creates the problem we were talking about i think i i will go for this slide later on so sorry so mental health quotient and success when i am talking about mental health and i am talking about quotient quotient we all know aptitude quotient social quotient performance quotient we all have a multiple intelligence within our one brain you know and that can be defined as proactive divided by reactive i think the students who are engineering students they are understanding what i am talking about proactive divided by reactive you whatever you do every day is proactive and reaction to that is reactive so your health portion if i see that uh, you know in uh, you can i i really would like to have little conversation here if if it is coming on a chat box they can type can anybody uh, you all can type right dr sarita hello dr sarita can anybody uh, type if i ask something mental hello can you all hear me hello 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 uh, yes ma'am can you hear your audible actually nobody is replying me ma'am you are audible oh when yeah. i am asking actually you know i wanted to know that ki like i wanted to be little interactive because otherwise you no know, it will be difficult just i keep on talking and the slides will move on so uh, can they all the chat box they can write Hello. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you have just pasted the comment right uh, in the chat yeah. box. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead with this. Like your health portion, your daily routine. Uh, even in COVID nineteen, if you see our immunity has gone down, and and we understood that lot of deficiency, and because because of B three, B twelve, or your iron deficiency, you know your immunity has gone down, and this is how, believe me, your mental portion is also up. not it happen in just a moments it has happened from many years that we are neglecting ourselves and the children who are here they can really see this mind vision mapping this has been designed uh, by me completely this is very scientific that when you are 16 year old you think that i can and i will you know i will do it you are in 10th grade and you feel that ki i i would like to do it because i, I want to grow i there are a lot of positivity is there by the time you know you miss your routine you miss your classes you don't go to tuitions you don't do your homework in routine and eventually you know you you finish your 10th with the number whatever comes in your hand and then you are selected for some college and you're going there and then now 12th grade is coming so by the time 12th come you have an experience of your 10th so you feel that i should and i will there is a will every time there is a will nothing that you are so negative about not doing it but somehow we miserably fail doing it why because we miss our daily portion we miss our daily understanding about yourself you miss that's why we have colleges that's why we have timing that's why we have routine because this is what the science is talking about that your daily routine if you manage end of the week you will feel very successful 
So have your, you know, small goals, very small goals and see that how these goals are converting into the bigger goals and which will help you in your mind. And by the time you're 21, you feel that now I must and I even I don't have any options. But in bachelor, I have seen that bachelor students are also in a lot of insecurity and mental health, they must know about it that, yes, this is what I need to do. You know, awake yourself from within about yourself and your mind. If you understand this slide, this is completely talking about how your carbon footprint is taking a grip on your mental ability. Your concentration span is reduced, your focus is reduced, your memory is getting affected. You know, a lot of things is coming and believe me, this is all, it's, it's not something which cannot be solved. This is solved conditions. So yeah, carbon footprint slowly taking a grip in our body so well as in our mind. So if you see this slide, what I have written, you guys must be knowing it, science student, that hemoglobin is a source of oxygen. And we have just now witnessed it, right? So when your oxygen carrying capacity reduces, it affects your entire body and moreover your mind. You know that how much when you study, when you focus or when you read something or when you do something, you need a lot of oxygenated neurons in your brain. And what is that? How it is so important. So if you see like, you know, in your health quotient, your IQ, when you guys are into engineering, uh, you guys are studying something, you feel that you are only using your IQ. Believe me, what you are physically up your mind is showing three times more within you. What you see yourself as a physical person is just a one-fourth of you. The three-fourth is your emotional quotient, your concept quotient, your application quotient. Everything is within you. To handle this, you need to do a lot of things, you know. And here, I would like to do one practice with you. It will be a one-minute practice. Uh, can you put it on a chat box? Will you like to do that with me, that activity? Can I see your on chat box, Dr. Sarika? Is it possible? So then I can do this practically. Otherwise, I'll go ahead with the other slides. What do you say? Participants, if you are interested, please write here. Hello. Uh, hello, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, hello, ma'am. This is uh, Professor Madhvi here. Yeah, ma am, uh, students would be asking questions at the end of the session. So they have yeah. got few questions, but then, uh, yes, our I want them them to do this one minute practice. Because this is a very important practice for the mental health. So I just wanted to do one minute practice. So if in the chat, okay. if they can write that, yeah. yes, Chetna, like yes, uh, Chetna, chat. you, uh, if uh, I'll, I'll just make you a co host so that you can ask questions. Yeah, please. Okay. Yeah. Madhu, I make, make Ruchi also the co-host. Even she can ask. Chetna is not there. Ruchi is okay, there. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, ma uh, we will not ask, ask questions to uh, the people who have raised hand. Okay. So Chetna and uh, the our representatives will ask. Okay. 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 In this one minute, you guys, let's see when I'm talking or you all are listening to me, your breathing is happening on its own. You don't have to put any efforts on your breathing. You, you all will agree to that, right? But this one minute, again, I'm telling you, you just have to close eyes and you just have to witness your nostrils from where the breathing is, exchange is happening. This is very, very, very important for your mental health. That's why I'm making you do this. If you can do it, please, one minute, I will count for you. You guys don't think also that one minute is over and what has happened or something like that. Don't think anything. I will say start and I will say off. So we will start. Close your eyes. Relax. Everyone relax. Close your eyes. Focus your nose. What is happening there? Just exchange it. Don't 
try to take breath or leave breath. It happens on its own. For one minute start now. Slowly open your eyes, relax. This is just a minute. I just want you all to practice when you get up in the morning, give yourself one minute. अगर आपका train three thirty या seven thirty का है, seven thirty में होने से कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ने वाला है. Please give yourself this one minute. Don't just jump from your bed. So one minute in the morning, one minute. You know, even I would say that in the lecture also, before we start any lecture, if you just use this one minute. Believe me, it is a kind of a, you know you guys into computers and uh, technology. So this in this one minute you can you know clean your hard disk. You can clean your soft disk from your brain. Just just remove everything and so you are ready to focus for the lectures or for your work. So this is a very very important point of one minute relaxation, and that is very very supportive to your mental health. my my slide is something is with your own thing okay so If you guys have practiced this one minute, you will understand how important it is. Here, I would like to take you again to the slide of the sleep disorder. You know, if you all have a sleep issues, maybe your clock is not good. You guys are, you know, sleeping late, getting up late. Your your time management is not there for your sleep. So this thing is all affecting your clock. My article is on the mirror. You can read this article. uh it's about the being alpha person what is you know you guys know that in mental health when we are talking about in our brain we have some alpha beta gamma certain kind of waves are there the alpha waves is on your frontal lobe then your beta waves and then your gamma gamma is the, taking you to a very calmness beta is your active waves and alpha is how wisely you put up into the practice whatever you feel with it if you want to become a alpha person we give a ceo people trainings we give teachers training and we make them alpha person alpha is all about having a control of yourself it's it's such an amazing science that your brain has all the waves which you can control yes but you have to practice that's why i have talked about your daily quotient management if you do not practice your daily routine if you do not practice anything you cannot achieve what you want so your mind is in your hand your body is in your hand your decisions are in your hand nobody is controlling you so you guys doesn't have to have that anxiety or stress about it you just have to see that be be very realistic about your daily routine what are you doing every week you can do a map you know just simple four question i'm am i following my uh, because you you all are a student so just check that am i going college every day am i attending my lectures am i eating on time my lunch dinner or my breakfast i am not eating outside at least you know five days a week and two days i am eating out you will get to know your graph believe me that makes you what you are and if you see the introduction to jo maine one minute aapko practice bhi karaya you know this is something if if the physically i can come and do with your uh, 
था आई कैन मेक इट हैपन दिस वॉट आई एम टॉक दैट वॉट इज आल्फा वेव हाउ इट हेल्प वॉट इज बीटा बीटा वेव इज यू नो वेन आई एम स्लीपिंग एंड आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट थिंकिंग अबाउट दैट ओ टूमोरो आई हैव अ क्लास टूमोरो यू नो आई आई एम नॉट डन दिस माई फ्रेंड्स हैव मैसेज मी दिस ओ माई गॉश वॉट इज हैपन यू नो माई बॉयफ्रेंड हैज मैसेज मी दिस this kind of very emotional thought process which beta waves bombard to yourself and you have to practice not to think about it so one minute before you go to sleep please try to follow it please try to follow it it is really going to help you it will take you to the relaxation intuitive reaction and the creative it will take you to your healing see the theta wave the gamma wave peak concentration and cognition it is eventually it will happen it is very very simple so when you go to bed and before your sleep please one minute focus on your breathing one minute exactly and you will fall into sleep believe me you will fall into sleep just your beta waves when the questions start coming and bombarding when you are sleeping you understand my beta waves are getting hyper either you work for it you get up you do it and then you go to sleep but don't ever allow beta waves to control yourself when you get up in the morning after that one minute when you are back to your work you are doing brushing you are doing breakfast yeah let the beta wave get active about it. but please have a control on yourself and on your alpha and on your beta i have talked about this i have talked so now let's talk about that what should be your daily routine have which allows your mind and your mental health more positive better for you are you doing this your, all the students who are looking at it have you ever checked your hemoglobin d3 or b12 is not checked please guys check on that and this will tell you that what is the deficiency you are having if you are not doing exercise please you have a lot of choices i have given you can choose any out of it and make your table of that nutrition also it is so very simple thing morning what you can have afternoon what you can have evening what you can have and dinner what you can have nothing no fancy thing no like fancy thing i have put up over so kindly just following this these are your physical question which you need to keep it update for your mental health even if you are having stress or if you are having anxiety how will you know you know that when your b12 is supposed to be 700 400 to 700 and if it is going to 100 you know that you feel like throwing everything you will be you know not finding your answer your concentration will get affected you will have a pain in the body your your you know headache will be there frequent headache will be there even when your d3 is low your complete body will be drained so you know understand are you falling in this healthy category is your hemoglobin is 14 when it, at this age where you are is your d3 is between 25 to 65 you know i have seen lot of children during this time and their hemoglobin they have never checked d3 so it's coming 5 it's coming 6 and when we have increased the d3 believe me they don't need any counseling or they don't they, they don't fall into the mental any kind of anxiety category and they slowly come out of it by just following their daily system and whenever you are having any kind of heavy mental issues you can always take a help please do not hesitate to take a help it's very important if your physical health which i have put up this slide where i have put up this whole slide but it goes like this your physical health versus mental health keep high efforts mental health first performance will allow your mind need to focus with the discipline stimulate and if you see this then assumptions replaced by the more achievement your attention your low avoidance your low anxiety will be there your cognitive benefit will come you will be successful in your achievement and you know you will stimulate low anxiety low stress and less guilt the guilt also stimulate stimulate lot of mental health issues so if you follow your daily management you will be less guilty you will be less stressed you will be less anxiety that will give you a cognitive benefit it goes reverse this is not a vicious cycle and allow your mind just to free 
believe me if there are too many things coming in your mind stop pause one minute pause and see the magic that's very important so this second one looking at this line and they are they are looking at 18 to 25 they can see this like you know your future possibility this is the probability your plan will will convert into should will then must will but if you this process if you do very well and you build honest with your daily routine management you can achieve your progress it will take you towards the success i understand there are a lot of this new generation has to face a lot of new development in technology they have to see the environment changing global warming there are a lot of challenges everybody each one of us have a challenges but this challenges can not be solved in a day there is a process and that process we need to follow in daily routine i think even if you see the howard this question you know this is an amazing question uh we can take it uh, entire survey in your college or uh, just giving this five question this is done by the howard and uh, i was doing it from 10 years i was very happy that at last this kind of system has come up what did you learn from today's performance what steps did you take to make your successful today it's everything is about today what are some different strategies you could have used how did you keep going when things got tough what can you learn from your opponent today you know this is so important five questions you guys can uh, go to the you know uh, the slide you can take a picture of this slide you can write this five question in your you know make one uh, i think chart paper for yourself put it on your uh, table and just see it just follow it weekly you can follow weekly and see the magic so this is very very important for your mental health to go about it and to achieve something in your life your well being is in your hand you are responsible for your well being there are people who are putting efforts for you your parents your teachers your friends is just awake about it awake then arise to do it by your actions that is well being i feel so so thank you so much for giving me an opportunity on the topic of mental health and my dais is open for the question hello 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 ma'am ruchi here so my question is what kind of lifestyle changes can help a woman with symptoms of mental health disorder okay women with mental health disorder now the, who is it like women there are many mental disorder they are having what what exactly you want to ask me mental disorder means there are too many you can tell me the simple thing like stressed woman or uh, anxiety women or pcod or the hormonal disorder they are having and affecting the mental disorder because mental disorder is a very wide uh, term you you have to ask me very precise question hello ma'am hormonal disorder yeah then the lifestyle you know if you would have gone through my slide one second let me please if you would have gone through my slide where i was talking about uh you know what deficiency you should check in your body what exercise you should do what food you should eat i have given everything there in the slide so it's about daily routine management eat you know if you get any annoying get hydrated you know drink water and even if the if the hormonal disorder somebody is having i would suggest a very good hormone uh, water therapy that is warm water and normal water you know if you get up in the morning have a warm water and then simultaneously have a normal water which will stimulate your nerves inside which will stimulate your all the organs for your the function at the fullest 
and this is kind of you know proven therapy like if you are having swelling uh, on our foot or anywhere what we do is we soak our foot into the warm water and then normal water but the same thing if you drink this water warm water saline with normal water it will give you a uh, amazing results with that you know drink juices a uh, green juices have spinach in your daily routine have some fruits in your daily routine not to eat outside you know if you are having hormonal disorder exercise is must either yoga or either walking or running which is which suits you you know always choose something which you are happy to do if you are just doing it for the sake of doing it you will not get the results you should be doing it very happily this is fine yes ma'am thank you hello ma'am this is maitri yeah maitri Uh, ma'am i have a question that how are mental health issues in or uh, the symptoms of mental health issues in women different from in men uh number one see the women mental health and men mental health is a two different uh, thing and both are facing performance women is performing in home and men is performing outside the world so when you are talking about the women mental health we are see the our emotional quotient is higher than the men do you agree with that sure ma'am do you agree with that maitri yes ma'am sure yeah so you know dealing with so i would directing you towards that key we women need to understand our emotional quotient when we are talking about women empowerment we want to have an equality we want to break the bias when we are talking this i we are we very much updated with our uh, you know uh, aspects of the life you know when we want to break the i am also into the equality i we also we all women work we all are at a different field and equally or maybe better than the men we are doing it because we our eq is high we can deal much better than them on management aspects and on certain crises where men cannot so mental health where the women face a problem is emotional if they can deal with their emotions if they can deal with their that stress you know not getting emotional and understanding about their weak point that what is making them more emotional and bringing that quotient down so emotional quotient is one need to understand you do know, number one i am emotional towards helping it's a good thing i am getting deprived and feeling that it's a bad push emotional quotient you know standing for others good emotional quotient having uh, you know self anxiety and uh, attention seeking behavior the women are also going through a lot this attention seeking behavior and that is also affecting their emotional quotient so each woman who really want to do something in their life they need to design they need to structure themselves that what kind of emotional quotient i have and there is an inventory also of that and it gives a wonderful results that what kind of woman are you and which are the area you need to work on yeah this is fine yes ma'am thank you anybody ma'am uh, another question ma'am how can uh, journaling things uh, help with anxiety journaling means journaling means like writing down things that happened throughout the day or something oh ah, so journaling means you write you are asking me that how uh, every day uh, you know Uh, jot down the points about the self and how does it yes. help you, right right this is what you're asking me yes yes okay. so that's why you know i have shown the howard university slide it's not everything you are supposed to it doesn't have every day doesn't happen so great right what happened every day every day every moment a process happened and in that process something happened which is different than the routine okay it's like you know every hello hello yeah uh, ma'am yeah your voice is uh, just there are some can you hear me can yeah yeah now, you, now it's audible yes yes it's audible now so every day uh, you know our routine what we are facing is number one that we get up 
we have our breakfast we go to college we attend the lectures we come home we do homework then we uh, you know go to sleep or something dinner and then go to sleep this is the probable routine we don't have to write this right now what happened between them that number one i i get up and i was very upset today for what i don't know but i'm upset so you know you have just uh, made in your mobile when we are making a lot of notes that in spite of that at least a week you know make a note that in the morning without reason how many times you are getting upset so you just write an upset that's it you know while getting on the train or standing on the platform you just write down that in the morning i'm getting upset then you know what happened next in the breakfast you didn't like the food one day you didn't like the food two day you didn't like the food three day you didn't like the food you have to notice it. why you don't like everyday food that's why i'm telling you that it is very feasible and simple way of noting down your things you are attending the class when you are attending the class your focus is not there why your focus is not there so you can just write down i was focused or i was not focused not focused then dash uh i think i was thinking about my boyfriend or i was just upset with my mom the way she behaved with me in the morning my father yesterday night before sleeping just yelled at me that you are not uh, studying well your marks are not coming good so these things are affecting or what is it affecting you you know if you know down no end of the week you'll understand it's a petty things which you don't need to so what happened your diary of one week and then a one month will make you precisely a more strong uh person a very strong mental health you will you will mental health is like a physical health you know you just need to maintain it so when you do this i don't think that you know you, then you need to note down anything because that becomes a practice for you any practice which you do for 21 days is enough yes so thank you yes yeah anything hello uh yes ma'am yeah ma'am hi this is madhavi here again uh, no, ma'am uh, so we uh, we we uh, working women is actually facing a issue of a work life balance so yeah. i mean some <laughs> tricks and techniques maybe you know ha itkanda vicharla gela hai prashna ke tala chal lagla nahi nahi this is this is very question because you know i have dealt only on this question the entire workshop taken in the mumbai police uh, mm-hmm. there they are traffic women police you know okay. and and it is very difficult for them because their duty is very extract and, and we all women when we are at the home front also we are handling we have to cook and we have to do we have to take care of our children so samadri you will agree to me that when we women talking about Ah, we 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 lost your voice, ma'am. Unable to hear you. Can you hear me, Madhuri? Now? Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Now. Yeah. So, Madhuri, you you will totally. I wish for that. <laughs> so that 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 feeling good. So, Madhuri, see the important thing is when we are coming up as an equality or bias, our duty looking after the home, children. Uh, children, children, whatever we do, children is not that support to the father. They talk to the father by cell phone. What is it? It's a probability. So, and we are also our emotional quotient is higher. So even we we are like more mother. Whatever we want to break the bias. So first we need to accept number one that when I'm doing a duty, I have to take care of other things and without getting anxiety, just fix your routine. That these are the and you know management. believe me a weekly management what do you want to cook in the morning and in the evening little planning will also help you second thing something acceptance i can say acceptance you know even in the office when we work we some harassment we get how to deal with such harassments how to deal with like you know students who are uh, very unapologized or no gratitude and going to class and teaching believe me you just have to do one thing do your duty with the fullest you if there is a one one person believe me if today there is a one student also i would have spoken the same way i would have spoken the same way because what i do you know just do yourself that's what i was telling from i you know, there is a one lecture on i that believe me madri in our entire life hardly two to three people can make difference to us honestly you just go deep to it and you will understand hardly two to three people do we 
want that two, three, two, three people can shake the emotional pillar of your life. No. So what happened, you know, just managing, understanding that what are your trigger points? So just I have done one, uh, you know, very nice, uh, um, I think I did work on, write down your trigger points. <laughs> Where you get triggered? You know, what, what trigger de deta and you get upset and then do, you don't speak from mind, you are gone, you are upset, your eyes are gone, all gone. So, you know, everyone should write down and then tear it up. But note it, what is your trigger? My trigger area, okay. If I say, I know, I was just sharing that I So, you know, I know that certain time, certain time it's not in our hand, train mess ho gaya ya मुझे टैक्सी नहीं मिला या मैं ट्रैफिक में फंस गई बिलीव मी मतलब मेरा मुझे पता है कि मेरे मेरा एंजाइटी हाई हो रहा है मुझे मुझे ये ट्रिगर हो रहा है सो यू नो आई ट्राई टू काम डाउन आई जस्ट ब्रीथ डाउन आई जस्ट काम डाउन एंड एंड आई डिड प्रैक्टिस फॉर दैट अदरवाइज यू नो आई कैन ड्राइव थोड़ा फास्ट चलाओ ना ये कैसे चल रहा है मतलब दिस इज आई स्टार्ट ब्लेमिंग और यू नो आई आई डिड प्रैक्टिस ऑन दैट सो मेनी अ टाइम आई टेल पीपल दैट we all you know it's do we are a mental health expert we all are human being and we go through the same process the way you guys are but we deal more with because we are meeting more people we talk we deal night we are into it like from uh, believe me i i give you one a very good example uh, in ukraine student you know i am helped in ukraine student in odessa i would like to say to students who are listening to me that you know it is it is about you who help and who gain happiness out of it and it comes any moment you know then somebody i think the maitri asked me ke how to in a day you know noting down everything uh, will it work so i'll just tell you sometimes something comes unasked and you know without knocking the door and come to you you have to realize that would you like to attend to that so you know i got a call from uh, some parents and they said hey my friend's daughter is stuck in odessa shilpa would you like to help and trust me i thought in my mind how will i help I don't know. I'm in Mumbai. I don't know the officials. I don't know the embassy. How the management? It's a high level management. How will I help? So then, you know, he she said, "Madam, just talk to her. No, she'll feel better." I I didn't say no. I said, "Okay." She gave me the number of Mahesh uh, Gupta. You can see her. Uh, she has put the post of my name, you know, there, and it was nice. Like I felt that I did something there. I called her up and we had a talk. I told her, "Believe me, in that condition." He has stopped eating and drinking water. So what has happened? I told him, "Are you drinking water?" I told him, "Ma'am, we are so stressed. Mula, please drink a lot of water from wherever you can get. Eat whatever you get because if you get health and that time if you are not physically fit, you will be slashed down day by day. You will go negative. So please have that. And then you know, I had message. Uh, I do the Maharashtra state government work and Gujarat government work. So I messaged the ministers and uh, Mansoor Bhai Mandavia and all, and I I didn't know that they will see or not, but believe me, they just looked at it. And what I did, I sent the uh, map of the Ukraine with the border of Moldova and the Romania, and I said the students are here, they can walk, and in one hour they can cross Moldova. But you know, you need to inform there, so they will be welcome there, and then they are free. So on 25th January. Believe me, that only one day the Maldova border will open, and the second day it was closed. So, you know what happened? That in that one day we could make a difference to so many children's lives. So, what happened? I'm just telling you. I'm not telling you that we did great or this anybody would have done. But sometimes the things is not in our hand. Just do it, whatever is in your hand, and you don't know how it will help other person. So, you know, when you are asking me, Madhuri, that you know how to balance our life. Believe me, just you have to be yourself to balance it, right? Okay, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh, is there any other question from the student side? Yes, ma'am. I have one question. Yeah, please. Yeah, ma'am. Jawad, yo. Um, ma'am, how can we deal with and recover from PTSD and trauma? And for example, if someone is having a panic attack, how can we deal with them and approach them? Again, what is panic disorder? You know, what is panic? Post-traumatic. Post-traumatic. Uh, number one. Ma'am, you are not uh, audible uh, properly. Hello, Chilpa, ma'am. Abhi sunai the na. Hello, Chilpa, ma'am. You are uh, not audible properly. Abhi bhi nahi. Maine itna bola madhi ke saath. Ha, abhi na. No, no. It's it's like in between. No, you are not. Abhi sunai the na. Hello. Abhi sunai the na. Hello. I think my network is fine. Hello, ma'am. 
Ma'am, it's just fluctuating. It's just fluctuating. You can continue. Continue, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, who, who is asking the name of the boy? Ma'am, Jawad. See, uh, PTSD and panic disorder. These are two different things. Post-traumatic is something by the parents alone, like father, father is taking some drugs and some reality was drunk and those kind of trauma. And then you see somebody die. There are certain things happening which goes into the unconscious mind and take a grip and which continuously affect their brain. Like, you know, they remember those and continuous fear and lie down with the PTSD. So number one, we really need the help of the counselor who can scoop out, who can work on the beta and who can work out, work out on their unconscious memory, which is lying down with the trauma. So if you, you know, yourself cannot handle it because if I am going to PTSD, number one, the friends, the belongings, the, the uh, parents should identify. Or if you feel that, yes, you know, if individually if I feel that I'm I'm having something which is bothering me right now. So before going into, you know, how will you know that it is PTSD or how will you know it is panic disorder? So you need that help. That's why the calling that you should have to go and you need to go and show that why am I having that's it, you know, they do not, nobody is interested to dig out, uh, you know, and and, and uh, to know about the past, some past which if affect you, you need to speak out and scoop it out. That PTSD is helping. It helps a lot in PTSD. More than medicine, the scooping is helping a lot. Now, panic disorder. Panic disorder is about, I'll tell you the rating case. You are a young boy, I'll tell you. Uh, in medical college, I have, I have handled that. Uh, you know, the boy has been raped very, very badly, sexually assaulted. And that gone as PTSD, but more it has gone into panic disorder. You know, I could identify that this is more than PTSD. It is, he's getting panic about it. You know, going to new area is panic. He doesn't want to leave his home. Though he's a doctor, he doesn't want to leave the home. He is not accepting the new atmosphere, new system, new college, new friends. No, it's giving a panic, uh, you know, and he can't talk. Their communication is get affected. The panic disorder is not about assumption. You know, something goes into your mind and then you assume about it. You continue, it's not happening, but you assume about it and it gives you a panic. Your friends, like, you know, if you guys are into group, somebody told you something that, oh, jo falana friend hai tira, tira bari mein kar hai. Usse ek bar bula, do bar bula, teen bar bula. It's going in your head and it is affecting your emotions because you, you used to feel good about it. But eventually, when you have to do this, actually, so you will panic and you will attack with all what you have heard about, which is right or wrong. Again, so panic disorder, we one need to analyze, one need to talk to the counselor and deal with it. You know, it, it cannot go in panic. Yeah. Thank you. Anything, any would you like to know more precise about it? It's okay. Hello. Hello. Yes, uh, that, that very much answered his query, ma'am. Yeah. Thank yes, you, ma'am. Ma thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am, for answering all our questions. And I would like to present a small e from our side as a token of thanks. Thank you so much for making time to be a part of our Women's Day celebration. Before we conclude this session, I request all the participants to fill up the feedback form for this session. You will find the link in the chat box. Everyone is kindly requested to fill it before leaving the session. I would like to heartily thank everyone for uh, your active participation. We hope, see, we hope to see you tomorrow for our next 3-2022 Break the Bias session where we will talk about personality grooming and doing the right thing at the appropriate time in social settings. Goodbye. Stay safe, everyone. So we just request everyone to switch on their cameras for uh, the group photo. Shilpa, ma'am, even if you can. I do that. Yes, we can see you. So I request everyone to switch on their cameras, team. Other people as well? 
students and the participants if you can just switch on your cameras quickly yeah i think they are not able to because of security yeah so now I'll just try you all will be able to switch on your cameras i've changed the settings so So I think we all are set. There are other people also. We request everyone to switch on their cameras. Once you are done with the pic, just let us know. Are we done, Jawad or Adil? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So thank you so much, everyone, and thank you so much, Shilpa, ma'am. Thank you so much for a wonderful session. Thank you. thank you so much for it. Uh, Swati, just stop the recording. Once done. Okay, ma'am.